it's Becky I wanted to hop on here really quick and check in with you to see how you all did with your love yourself challenge for the month of February we've gone through four different weeks of a different challenge each week on ways that you can love yourself and nurture yourself and make yourself a priority and I really hope that you all have been following along um, on each week to see what you did to make you feel confident and beautiful and sexy what you did to feel relaxed what you did to feel fulfilled and what made you feel joyful those are all really important aspects of our lives that we don't want to overlook we want to make sure we're making time for ourselves making ourselves a priority and whether or not you were able to do keep up with doing one of those things each week and then adding on another one the next week that's okay if you didn't have time to do it the point of this was really to make you think about yourself Think about yourself when you are planning your to-do list for the next day. Making sure you're taking time to do something for yourself every day if possible. It could be in any of those four categories or a category of your own. Just something that makes time for you because if you are running on empty and you're exhausted and you don't feel fulfilled and you don't feel relaxed ever and you don't know how to relax and sit down and you just take some time to yourself and you don't know what makes you feel confident anymore and you don't have any confidence anymore and you're running on empty and feeling bad about yourself. I don't want to feel that way and I have not liked feeling that way when certain things have crept into my life and made me feel one way or the other. I don't like feeling that way and I don't want you guys to feel that way. I want you to be happy, not just for yourself, but also because the happier you are, the happier and the better able you will be to serve your family and other people. And that really is what life is all about. Making the best life that you can, being happy with yourself, making your making other people happy, and being just having a good, well-rounded life where you're taking care of your family, you're taking care of their needs, you're enjoying time with them, but you're also taking time to enjoy yourself as a person and doing things for yourself as a person. So just because you're taking care of other people now as a mom doesn't mean you have to neglect yourself. You still deserve to be taken care of. And that's really what this challenge was designed to help you really think about at least four different aspects of ways you can make yourself a priority and make yourself happy again if maybe you have lost yourself kind of along the way of motherhood as we tend to do. So I want to just hop on here and kind of close out this challenge but if you happen to stumble upon these videos and it's not February or you didn't necessarily get started with a challenge when we did that's okay you can do it anytime and the videos are still there you still have four you can go one a week and really try to make yourself a priority. And not to sound like a L'Oreal commercial, but you're worth it. You're worth the time it takes to do all these things that make you happy and joyful and relaxed and fulfilled and confident and beautiful. And yes, I'm going to say it again, sexy. You deserve to feel all those things, and I want you to feel all those things. I hope you enjoyed the challenge. Let me know if you have any comments. If you did it with me, just let me know maybe some of the things that you did or how it worked out for you. If it's changed your perspective at all, I'd be really interested to see how it might have affected you one way or the other. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.